Welcome back to another kind of funny live reaction to a cyberpunk night city wire. I'm Tim Geddes. I got Bless. I got Greg. I got Andy. Kevin's running the whole thing. What is this? Night City Wire number three? Three. Four? Is this four? Oh, you're right. Uh, looking at vehicles today. Little motorcycle action. You guys see that gif yesterday? Pretty hot gif. Yeah. yeah. Pretty yeah. hot gif. You look like uh, Shadow the more. Hedgehog coming through, you know? Because oh, he rides yeah. a motorcycle. That's the better Damn, than Bless. Your <laughs> energy today is just. <laughs> hey, so good. you know? It's you know? chaotic. I don't like it. It did not look like, like, like Shadow like the Hedgehog. Like the Emeralds. <laughs> Chaotic like the Emeralds. Because yeah, oh it truly did not look like it did not look like Shadow the Hedgehog. Thank you. Every day taking a break. Stepping up here with a stace. City of dreams. We'll see if this is the one that can sell Andy, because he is not like this game at all. That's what I've heard. Welcome to Night City Wire Episode 4, the show from us at CD Project Red, where we talk about all things Cyberpunk 2077. We're going to start today's episode by giving you a look at just some of the vehicles you might procure during your time in Night City. Procure. And having a chat to senior vehicle artist mm, Paul, yes. who's going to give us a little <laughs> bit more information I like before shirt. we take you behind yeah, I like the shirt scenes too. and a look at the lengths the teams have it's gone not the, to to that's bring not just vehicles the drugs, to life. A cool shirt. We're also going to have news on an exciting collaboration. Then we're going to be talking mm. about fashion and styles in Night City, before we recap the incredibly talented finalists in our cyberpunk cosplay contest. We'll then wrap that up robot today's lady would kill you. with some news about Stadia. There is a <laughs> Most lot people to in talk cyberpunk about. Would kill me. So let's get started. Yo, Stadia news, let's go, baby. You think it's gonna be day and day now? God, I hope so. <laughs> They're like, the news is it's not coming out. <laughs> Listen, guys, we need a little bit more We've time. We've canceled it. In a huge open world like Night City, we've heard you, and you hate Stadia, so fast. we will not be going there. <laughs> and in Cyberpunk 2077, there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this. Four liter engine, six cylinder. I thought that was Goes Andy. from zero to 100. I legitimately thought that was Andy, too. You fucking believe that? <laughs> Get this. There's Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm gonna say that doesn't look like Shadow. We crafted team. every no. car and motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the we gotta play Shadow the, the Hedgehog. Body, not to mention we the don't. interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique driving experience. All right, show me what you got. That was me, guys. I said that. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh uh. Yeah. It's not the size that counts, I guess. That's this awesome. class is mostly <laughs> utility vehicles and low-end clunkers made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. It's a wreck. I don't know. My damn wreck. Well, wow. definitely no guy or girl mech. If you need oh, to impress, shit. look to this class alone. What you looking at? Tell me what you looking at. I put my ride on the line. Either you match it in cash. You can forget about the fight. Oh, I'll just shoot him that shit. With these wheels, no expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. This VO artist is talented. And practical design, trucks and I don't know about the dude, though. Knock off. It's all snake. Force. Hell of a machine. Put me in there, dude. Beast. Come on. My pride and joy. Let me hear it, These Andy. monsters are literally unstoppable. That right. <laughs> These are for trees who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Yeah. Their powerful yeah. engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for tuning. Come on! I want to smell that choo-choo bird! <laughs> what? Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets, with these high-powered beasts, you will have only respect. Oh yeah, I like that! If you need speed and armor, the hypercar class oh, is for you. It needs precise bodywork, built-in LiDAR arrays, and really expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of eddies. Probably less than a thousand people in the world can afford the Arendite. Not your typical urban vehicle. Dude! That's they a will take you places you never dreamed you'd go. Oh my god. 
Oh, God, they look and like original the... vehicles are not all you'll find in 2077. We also found room on our roster for some it's true automotive car. icons. New movie. Floor it, V. Porsche? Are they doing a Porsche? I don't know what that was. Ford V. What's for, from what movie game well, is that? Thank you so much for joining us. I think it's fair to the say Aston we've Martin, come a really long James way Bond. from Roach and The Witcher, so that there's a lot to talk about. Yep, there's a lot to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Well, let's start with the various classes of different cars because in the video we saw there were things like economy and luxury. Everyone in the chat vehicles. says it's a Porsche 911, which is just like kind of design yeah. philosophy. Like, this yeah, so they have like each kind of they have real world offer when people are driving them around Night City. Great. Where's Absolutely. the DeLorean then? Where's the DeLorean? Uh, Thank you, Tim. Uh, the variation of the car that you are uh, either buying God or damn. stealing, depending on your flavor. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that they don't just look different. <laughs> Uh, but they'll also drive different and feel different. If you're buying or stealing uh, a nice, fancy-looking, sports color version of a car, you'll notice that it drives, you know, faster, sounds a little bit more punchy and sportsy than, for example, a junkier version of that same car. You know, it can have solar panels tied to the roof or some other pipes that are hot wiring some other, you know, cyberpunk components in your car. And, uh, well, you know, if it looks cheap, it probably drives cheap too. So it seems that not only do the cars uh, look Shit, Andy, I didn't outside, know you drive there's cheap. There's an awful lot of detail on the inside as well. What? Things like the dashboard. <laughs> so can you tell us more about that? Because Got I know em. if you find a Quadra Type 66 in the city, Fuck it's you, I'm making a thumbnail, totally bitch. totally different from the Quadra <laughs> Type 66 that the gangs are driving out in the Badlands, both outside and inside. Yep, definitely. If you were about to steal a very nice high-end car, for example, uh, yeah, when you get in, you'll see the dashboard light up nicely. You'll see your dial indicators revving a little bit. But that may not exist for a junk version at all. It may have the dashboard oh ripped out completely. No matter what your flavor is, you'll you'll find something that suits your needs. Bless, I so feel like that's your, racing, the car then? you're gonna go. Will there be racing? Which one? I know the weird little one. <laughs> yes, we're absolutely going to have. Uh, I like the hybrid cars. The, the hybrid cars really locations. If you know, no, those seem those seem expensive. Lands. Maybe bring a nomad car. And I imagine you'll have to get to a very high level to drive the them. Lands. But if you know you're going to be racing in Night City, just bring the. And so I might start off. Give me the car dealership. Which one looks like a hedgehog? No matter where you're racing, though. Which one do you think Shadow would drive? What's going to happen? Okay, so you talk about bringing cars then. Let's. I do like motorcycles in games. Like storing and calling cars because we know people can steal them. But what if somebody's found a car and they absolutely love this particular one? Is there a way for players it. to kind of build that collection? And then how do they actually, you know, summon them? Well, uh, summoning cars works pretty much the same as you would summon Roach in The Witcher 3. Your transportation may or may not show up on a roof somewhere. Uh, but, you know, we're still working on fixing some bugs here and there. <laughs> but yeah, if there's a car that you really, really like very much, if you can't wait to own a Quadra or a Type 66, you'll get a message from your fixer and says, hey, Got a Quadra for sale for you, you want to buy it? All you have to do is drive over, pay the money, and you've got your very own Quadra. Not to mention I that want, every single car. vehicle that you buy, every single player mm -hmm. vehicle is absolutely unique in every way. It's got a unique interior, unique exterior, paint job. Um, you know, it'll North sound Oak. different, but it'll also handle different. So in the video, we did mention there was space for a true automotive icon. Uh, do you want to reveal uh, what that actually is? Of course, the, the car in question here is uh, Johnny Silverhand's car. And Johnny Silverhand is, well, he's a big rocker boy and he needs some wheels to match. So we gave him a 911 Porsche from 1977, which means That's not real. in is that 2077, real? <laughs> Johnny's car is going to be exactly 100 years old. Well, Paul, thank you so much yeah. for your time today. Personally, I cool. think I'm going to try and balance being a super <laughs> no, cool badass not. mercenary and driving a Mai Mai. If I, if I walked outside I and I saw it, somebody right? driving a car cool from 100 years ago, definitely. I'd be like, you're like, a man with a purpose. Absolutely cool that's a really old, dumb, dumb car. <laughs> like, that's a, oh, that car is old as fuck. <laughs> Kevin has three cars that equal up to the 100 years old. In past episodes, we've said that music plays a huge part in bringing Night City to life. But it's not just music. Our teams went to incredible lengths to recreate and capture the sounds that really bring these vehicles to life. I mean, we might have had some fun driving them, but I'm pretty sure that's just a perk of the job. Top 
you and you should. It's good. We started with the visuals and then we wanted to like attach a proper sound to the visuals so that you have like a nice feeling or a nice vibe of uh, the, the complete car. And then uh, we moved on to uh, organizing the whole thing. Early on, uh, we made the decision that we are going to record on the racetracks and then we are going to record cars in movement. We started cooperation with Tomek Czopik, who is like a very, very well-known uh, racing driver in Poland. That's really a nice sensation when you're driving with a racing driver and then he pushes the car to the limits. Like, you can feel the the Gs with the braking and uh, tight cornering. This and is like the segment with the band the car last actually, time. Like, bending the laws of physics. We wanted like, to record no. a broad spectrum okay. of cars, so <laughs> we started with the powerful muscle cars and then we went to uh, more screaming uh, tunes. You see Sixes, inline sixes, and then we went to V10s. We wanted to grab the off-road cars. We, of course, uh, grabbed some uh, drift cars just to have the more aggressive character in the cars. We had to assemble a sound group or a sound team that would make the placing of the mics process very, very fast because we had uh, plenty of cars to do in a short time span. We had all the, the team of mechanics of from <laughs> like, a rally team and they helped us immensely. Down. What they've done is allowed us to put the microphones into places that we wouldn't be able to access uh, differently. Putting a mic right into the car, they helped us to locate the places that are best. Usually place three microphones in the engine bay, three microphones uh, in the exhaust and two microphones in the car. Cars are very, very complex in terms of sound and uh, it's very difficult to get all the necessary components uh, that you have to have to make it sound believable. But we were trying to look for something that would give us the character of the engine. Tim and I would have just been in a microphone like... <laughs> We wanted to use normal organic uh, electric engine that you could actually have in the nowadays car. We didn't want the engines to be futuristic sci-fi-ish sounding. We wanted them much more organic, much more down to earth, something that would that would represent a combustion engine. And on top of that, we added small elements like the futuristic horns or like a futuristic UI of a car. It makes you feel like you are in a car of the future and some car might talk to you, other car might have blips and bobs that will make you feel like you're in a futuristic vehicle. I'd like to imagine a Tim futuristic car so a bunch of Lefori cans. We wanted to be oh, yeah, totally. uh, very, very close to what Mike uh, set up in the lore. That'd be the and, paint job, uh, right? Early on, we decided <laughs> to record uh, Johnny's uh, original car, which is the uh, Porsche 911 930 from 1977. We recorded it on dyno in control environment in a, in a chamber. We could put Mike in very different places. Porsche 930 <laughs> that we recorded is the Straight up, only car really like, that would I be that was really in -game. sounding like the real car. <laughs> Real people there, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like they're pretty we cool. We got it, we got it, I love the thumbs up, we got it, we got that window noise. We record so many vehicles for a game that is not really a racing game. Truth being told, this was the hardest part in, uh, in my sound career and I'm very, very proud of uh, what we achieved I'll never with do the it again. sound team. This was something <laughs> that we didn't do this. before. So creating the designs, uh, creating the technology behind the, how the sound behaves, that's the best thing actually I ever did in my sound career. How do you think they got the noises for the horses in Witcher? There has oh. been a lot. You don't want to know where they put the mics. So so let's take a look at another collaboration. This time with Johnny Silverhand. Um, I mean Keanu Reeves. That could have been like they could have done what Warzone Smell. does, where every vehicle has the same sound. The travel. Yeah. Journey. I fucking love this guy. Freedom. Has Keanu Reeves ever played a video game, I wonder? He is a video game. I'm Guard Hollinger. I'm Keanu Reeves. And we're here as uh, 
representatives of Arch Motorcycle and we're doing some audio recording for Cyberpunk 2077. Wait, does the piano to work, man? Does the piano work? Arch Motorcycle is a custom production motorcycle company. Uh, what's unique about it is that the motorcycles are built on a production platform, but each one is designed to be able to be personalized uh, for each customer. It looks like Tim's waiting for Greg to say something. <laughs> when uh, CD Projekt Red approached me about doing Cyberpunk 2077, they also spoke about integrating... They Giving were fans me a motorcycle. Of, uh, well, I guess people who worked at the company were fans of uh, Arch Motorcycle, and so they broached the idea of creating kind of specialized wow, so Cyberpunk cool. <laughs> 2077 version of the Arch Motorcycle. I Wait, what's Keanu own fine. this company? Yeah, no, what, what, is it, what is his relationship with Arch Motorcycle? Right. Yeah, he loves Arches. I didn't read what we his have a motorcycle like, title. We've, oh, yeah. we've designed Ask co-founder Keanu Reeves says Arch. Called the Method 143. And what else do you think so Keanu Reeves does that, that we have no idea about? That was, was um, I'll look into it. <laughs> creative inspiration for the he designer. So they sort of used that as a basis and then went further. So it has a totally different, crazy looking power plant. We did a little tough today. It's good. I like it. Today we're capturing sounds, getting some actual sounds of a power plant, and drivetrain, and characteristics of the motorcycle, which I'm sure they will, you know, have play with and stuff. But the source will be pure. It has a sort of a racing engine in it compared to our production motorcycles. It has a, a dual exhaust system. And I'm just looking at Greg pretty, with the <laughs> light blinding. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely blindfold it tell. What's that, Jesus? That's the Kill them all. <laughs> Why don't you close the curtain? Dude, this is them closed. What? We live in a uh, place that never gets sun, so when it does, it's just my body and world is not built for it at all. <laughs> That's sick, John. The nature of the role-playing yeah, aspect of the game, I think it'll be cool like, to be on a bike and hearing that going through the city streets and getting into the madness and mayhem. Like Shadow the Hedgehog. Yep. I fucking love him so much! <laughs> I was inspired to work for Arch because of Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> As with all episodes of Night City Wire, if you're tuning in late or if you just want to watch anything again, we will be uploading everything to our channels soon. Now it's time to talk about styles in Night City. Are you more kitsch or neo-militarism? I thought Alana Pierce was posting this. I think maybe the pre-show post-show, one of those kind of things. Uh... Yeah. Welcome to the brief authoritative history of Night City. This chapter is devoted to so-called styles, deeply linked with the history of the world and a very important aspect of life in the city. You can find them everywhere. In cars, oh. clothes, <laughs> guns, implants. Oh. They are your war paint. As one of our sponsors says, it matters not if you're dead as long as you're doing it in style. Oh yeah. Gosh. The moves on this girl. Oh. Swoosh, swoosh. But at least Slice it's stylish. Like sashimi. Four visual styles are evident in the Night City of 2077, each with its own history, status, and features. Neon hair, illuminated tattoos, and chrome. Batman Function and Robin Dillon. comes second. <laughs> Fuck, Looks yeah, are what matter. At what point do we go into the future when they're like, it doesn't matter what you look like, you can get a job anyway. You know, like now they're like, no tattoos on your neck. When sure. can we pass that threshold? Yeah. Great question. Oh, this is Stanley here with you, and we this got makes this whole thing worth it. In this city of dreams. The fourth corporate war broke out, and entropism was born. Vast and deep crises forced people to find ways to survive by any means. Getting the job done, no matter how, was the primary goal. The look? Who cares? I 
love this town. <laughs> love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Fuck them. Fuck this job. Fuck this city. Sounds like blessing. Deadly elegance without ostentation. <laughs> Corporate, militaristic fashion, mostly seen in the wealthier parts of town. Substance over style, that's the motto. But like, this is stylish. Like, I know we're supposed to be against the military industrial complex, but the word neo-militarism is so cool. Cool. <laughs> like, that is cool. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, look at their outfits. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going corporate. Oh, we know, Greg. Celebrities. <laughs> we know. I'm, I'm going stars, this. Business Neo Kitsch, baby. Heirs to corporate fortunes and corporate executives. They abandoned the cold, deadly elegance of neo-militarism and returned to the roots of Kitsch, but gave it a fresh, new look. Oh, shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just... I feel like we're a bunch of kids watching by. TV. And we're like, oh, that's me. That's me. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your attention. We wish you a very pleasant stay in our marvelous metropolis. Good luck and goodbye. Good luck. NC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Luckily, matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. Can you imagine if this game lives up to the hype? <laughs> God. Just before this episode started, you might have tuned in early and seen our cyberpunk cosplay contest finale. But just in case you've missed it, we've prepared a little summary for you featuring our very talented finalists. In the cyberpunk cosplay contest, we asked our very talented community to cosplay a character from the game based on the art, screenshots, videos, cosplay guides, etc. We thought regular trophies weren't if quite Greg was cool in this enough, so out. we decided that the top three will receive Hey guys, I got like 15 <laughs> miles. <laughs> they have been specifically made for this occasion, and the winners wow. can do with them as they please. And now, the 12 best cyberpunk cosplayers who have competed for first place in the first official cyberpunk 2077 cosplay contest. Are you ready to meet them? I am ready. Whoa, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Oh, dude. I want to look exactly like that. <laughs> this is your character? Yeah. That's me. I'm her. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Damn. That's sick. Yeah, what is this beat? Shit goes hard. There's going to be a shot of me just sitting in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> your key lights are like alternating behind you. <laughs> wrap up today's episode there is one more thing to talk about stadia. previously we announced that cyberpunk 2077 was coming to stadia and today we can tell you that it is arriving on november 19th alongside other platforms and pre-orders are starting now night city wire is almost over but if you do want just a little bit more then stay tuned right here on the twitch channel and join us for our post show as always, don't forget that if you've missed anything or if you just want to watch again, we will be uploading everything to our channels shortly and we'll be back with Night City Wire. What is the point of pre-ordering on Stadia? Soon. No, actually, to know that you, you've done it. It's there, you have you. it. Yeah. Welcome to the diner. She's committing to it. I guess. So what do you want? Supercar? Big house? 
You want to rule yes. this city? Yes. Well, you ain't getting anywhere without an upgrade. You need a softer touch. Stronger spine. Because taking over Night City ain't gonna be easy. <laughs> In. Cyberpunk 2077. Available November 19th. Man, we're so close, guys. Like, we are. Right? <laughs> Holy shit, Weird guitar sounds. That's how it is in the future. That's how it is. Where you guys at? Uh, I didn't need this, but it's whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I, I feel. I feel like you guys felt uh, during the PS5 UI reveal where it's whatever i could have gone without seeing any of this it's you know i'm still excited for this damn game i i'm still i still want to play it but nothing really it reminds me a lot of the band segments from when they showed uh against me i guess what, what it was maybe on the second episode where we just got that deep dive on the band behind the music behind johnny silverhand's music it's like all right i don't really that doesn't really care i don't care yeah, the car, like, not being a, a gearhead at all. It's like, all right, cool. I like the different styles of cars, but then, like, them recording audio and stuff like that is when I started drifting a bit. Like, I, it's it's awesome to see that much detail in this game. I still can't wait to play it. I think they picked it up at the end there, right, where it was like, let's look at the styles. Let's show you some of this. Even that cinematic there at the end was fine. But, like, I didn't need this, but I, I like that they've set the, the tone for what Night City Wires are going to be. And it is like, hey, if you can't wait for this game, we're going to do deep dives into really nerdy shit about it. Yeah, bless. I have a question for you. So you played the game, and if I remember correctly, there was three choices of styles that you could choose. But now they're showing that there's four. Well, th- that's different, right? Like what they're showing here are the visual, like the different visual aesthetics for basically like the different uh, uh, like classes in the city. So when you see like entropism, or you, when you see like neo militarism, that is less so like a choice that you're gonna uh, make. I'm sure like somewhere down the road, you can probably like stylize your character to fit within one of those styles. But when it comes back to the nomad, the street kid, or the corpo, that is more so like a, a, a gameplay choice or like where my character is going to start off as, as far as like a who you are and what your role is in this story. But like the styles they're showing here are more so like, hey, this is how we filled out the world. This is what uh, you can ex- expect. This is the amount of detail that we put into this thing. Like you're going to see all these different types of people that fit mm-hmm. within these different classes. And like these are the types of people you're going to run into. And at a certain point, then like, yeah, I imagine that you can customize your car to like fit within a neo-militaristic style and you can yeah. have your character be be that if you want it to be cool stuff well we won't have to wait long i don't know if they said that there's gonna be another one of these no, but this we is the are... final one. Oh um, yeah that, well, that like uh, i think the in during the second or third episode they said like this is episode three or four or whatever i remember hearing that there was only gonna be four hmm, hmm. well mm, here we mm. go it was nice seeing this night city wire Gentlemen, thank you for joining me for all Always for all of these. It's been nice. Uh, we will return on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games with kind of funny games daily at 10 a.m. Yeah, baby. Get hype, baby. Let's go. Oh, they said five. Damn, I'm wrong. They said five. You idiots. One more coming, baby. Cool. We're gonna be back here. <laughs> yeah, Shadow. We don't no. need to, you know what I mean? We don't need to. <laughs>